With the NFL draft quickly approaching and Wisconsin's Ryan Ramchek projected as a first round pick, we thought we'd sit down and break down some film about what makes Ram one of the best, if not the best, tackle in this year's draft. We're here with offensive coordinator and offensive line coach Joe Rudolph. And so when you popped on his film, what's the first thing that jumps out at you when you see Ryan Ramchek on film? Well, I, I think the first thing is that um, is you see these powerful, explosive plays in the run game. I'll give you an example. There's going to be a combination here between him and, and Troy Fumagalli. So he's really coming off hard to really block this man and to, uh, to really set up the combo. And, and the man moves away. The defender rocks out. And so to have balance, you know, at that point is huge. And then to be able to not only have balance when you press through, but to have a force onto the linebacker is, is what you want to see. And to me, that shows um, a balance. Um, it shows footwork. It shows ability to hold pad level. But then it shows, man, at the point of contact, you're able to move a man. He actually bounces up to the backside linebacker, allows our fullback to get up to the safety. That's a that's a pretty outstanding play that isn't planned out. He's reacting, you know, he's responsive to what's in front of him, and, uh, and he's able to make a huge impact on the outcome of the play. What makes left tackle such a difficult position? The NFL teams are always looking for a left tackle, it seems like, what just what's so tough about it? They want to see someone that, that can demonstrate power. This is a combination between our, our left guard, Michael Dieter, and, and Ryan. And you can see Ryan come into that combination and you can see his strength as, as, he, as, he, as he gets his feet down and he, and he times up his punch into the defender. But as that man moves, you can see him put his feet in the ground and adjust to get up to the second level and finish the second level on the block. That, that's, that's pretty athletic. That's something you want to be able to show and tie together that you could be a force in the run game. And then I think what goes hand in hand with that is someone that is really has great confidence in their athleticism and strength in the uh, in pass protection. You can see Ryan here, he's, he's, uh, he's confident, you know, it's a loud situation. But the things that you see are not only his feet getting in position, but you see when he places his hands on this man, all right, and, he, and it transitions into a bull rush, he's truly able to hold the width of the pocket. And he shows strength to be able to anchor down right there and continue to play with a bent knee, continue to brace and anchor and play with extension. Um, at the same time, you could line up against smaller defenders and get speed rushes off your edge. And I think the combination of the two and the confidence to be strong enough to handle a bull rush from the biggest guys and be able to, to, be able to set with confidence and patience and still play with uh, extension versus smaller guys it's a pretty good combination when you tie it in with power in the run game. So we've seen a couple plays, power, strength, all of it. Is there one play you have that just shows why Ramchek is a possible first round pick and possibly the first tackle taken in this year's draft? Yeah, those, those first two were, were pretty good. You know, um, I'm gonna skip down to the same game when you can line a big man up across from him, you know, and, and, a, and a talented rusher across from him and he's able to set with confidence in, in a, in a uh, obvious passing down situation and punch and use his hands and keep the width of the pocket and strength. Like that's, that's what you wanna be able to show on film consistently. Well, we'll now see where Ram goes. Thanks coach, appreciate the time. NFL Draft starts April 27th and runs through the 29th.